Before proceeding with the installation of your PR2 sensor, please read all the safety documentation and manuals that were included in your shipment. PR2 soil moisture sensors provide accurate results only when access tubes are properly installed. This is a tutorial video to make the correct installation easy and show how to apply the tools in the PR2 augurine kit. Choose a representative area for the installation and then level the ground to position the stabilization plate. Assemble the stabilization plate with the tools provided. The stabilization plate has four holes for the ground spikes to give stability. Use the dead blow mallet to drive the four stakes into the ground. Tap the plate to set the metal brackets into the soil. Install the white centering bush into the stabilization plate. Before inserting the pilot auger into the center of the stabilization plate, spray it with water to ease insertion and act as a lubricant. While keeping the auger vertical, push the auger straight down 10 to 20 centimeters, about 6 inches at a time. Turn and extract. For hard soils, use the dead blow mallet and tap the auger into the ground gently. Avoid rocks completely and do not force the auger. If encountering rocks, choose another spot. Start rotating the auger clockwise into the soil, spraying water to lubricate at all times. Make sure not to wobble the auger during this procedure. Continue to rotate as you withdraw the auger. Carefully pay attention not to wobble the auger. Keep the hole straight. Clean the extracted soil from the auger with the spatula. Continue these steps until the desired depth is reached. For the next step, exchange the white centering bush with the blue one. The finishing auger makes the hole very straight and slightly larger, approximately 28 millimeters in diameter. Then insert the finishing auger into the blue centering bush, applying a spray of water during this process. Auger in steps of 6 to 12 inches until the final depth is reached. Rotate the auger clockwise during insertion. Extract the auger slowly using a rotating motion as shown. Keep the auger vertical at all times. Check the hole to see if you have removed loose soil and not damaged or caused air gaps in the hole. Clean the extracted soil with a spatula as needed. For sticky clay soil, you may need water and a stiff brush to clean the outside of the auger to prevent soil buildup. For the final step, install the yellow centering bush to start the access tube installation. Wet the access tube and push it straight down by hand through the yellow bushing at least the first foot. Put the insertion rod into the access tube. Using a dead blow mallet, start tapping on the rod while holding the access tube steady to avoid wobble. Make sure to spray water on the tube as it goes down to ease this process. Continue until the top of the access tube is level with the top of the center bush. Leave the insertion rod in the access tube while removing the bushing and stabilization plate. You are now ready to remove the stabilization plate and take readings with your PR2 using your HH2. Keep in mind that your readings will be slightly higher due to water applied during installation. Cover the tube while not in use with rubber caps provided. Before taking readings, a cleaning rod tipped with a soft cloth should be used to extract any moisture or dirt buildup inside the tube. If you had difficulty with a hole too small, the access tube will not go down with normal tapping. The nose cone may be hammered out. Stop hammering and extract the tube. You can adjust the finishing auger blade to make a larger hole. If the hole is too large and the tube fit is too loose, your soil contact will be improper for good reading. You will need to make a new hole. In this case, adjust the finishing auger blade to make a smaller hole. For some loose soils and when installing the short access tube for the PR24, you will not need the finishing auger. Be sure to clean, dry, and oil the tools after use to prevent rust. Now you are ready to take readings and to install more tubes. Good luck and call Dynamax if there are any questions or you need assistance at 1-800-896-7108.